Hey guys, I bought this bar from Craigslist for $20. It's actually a really nice CB2 um, bar that someone was redecorating and they didn't want anymore. And on top of the bar, they put contact paper, this marble that we just thought didn't really go with this colored wood. So this is the actual surface. Um, we took off the contact paper, so there's a lot of imperfections. I guess you can't see, but it's like really sticky here. Um, I don't think I have to take the drawer out, but yeah, this is sticky, so we're gonna have to like cover it and then exacto knife it over here. I bought this black wood contact paper from Amazon, and I think I don't think it'll take that long to actually redo the top surface of it. I'll just have to um, unscrew this cabinet, and there's like a lot of junk inside, and then I'll sand it down a little bit and then apply this, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I bought this uh, sandpaper on Amazon. It's just an assorted sandpaper, I think, of different granularities. <laughs> so, um, and then I have an X-Acto knife. I think any of one of it would work, but we had this one already, so. And I also have Windex Multi-Surface Cleaner because I have to clean off the surface first, which I've already done. And I also have an electric drill, and of course you can use manual, but I think this will go a lot faster. And I just learned how to use this, which is this one turns to the right, and then this, if you flip it over, it turns to the left. So we'll see how that works. Okay, here we go. First, I'll just unscrew this. All right, step one, take off the door. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of the hinges because all I need is access to this. And then I'll just open the drawers. I'll keep these for later. So let me see if I can just, I don't know what will happen with the goo. It's, some places are really rough, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna cut off the this and see how it works. So you can see the texture of this. It actually looks kind of like wood, so I'm pretty excited about this. And I think it will fit it's like perfect. Be right back while I get scissors and a measuring tape. Okay, I have this um, clothing measuring tape that I've been using everywhere and I really like it because it's so light and it works. So I'll just use this and then a pencil and we'll mark it in the back to see how much I should cut. Okay, and the back is nice. It has like all of the lines and everything ready for you. Okay. For the record, I think doing this with two people would be much easier. <laughs> I landed in between like a big number, so I don't know how I'm gonna cut this straight. It like is in the middle of the 10. Well, okay. Um, maybe I'll just cut it at the 10 to be safe. It looks like I have a lot of extra paper, so that's awesome. So I think next thing I'm gonna do is use the sandpaper. So, okay, so you can definitely tell there's like these thicker sandpaper and then the thinner ones, and they're 150, 100, and okay, so yeah, you can totally tell there's two of each. There's two of each. I guess I'll start with thinnest and see how that goes. I'm just gonna turn. This is really heavy. Here, I'll just spare you guys from me sanding and the noise that it makes, so I'll just mute it and speed it up. Whoa, I'm really smoothing it out.
now that I'm doing this, I probably should have started with Goo Gone. Because there's like some sticky stuff on here still from the contact paper powder. Okay, I think it's okay. Turn out okay. Is it the best? Probably not. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it back and hope that it turns out okay. 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 Got it off. We'll try it again. So this time I'll actually try to follow the directions. Looking good. So for the corner, I think I'm just going to cut it so that you can see it on the side but not in the front. Here I'm just folding down all the creases so that it's flat all the way across. I'm just trying to exacto knife the excess off and wherever I can't fold over, I'll just cut it off. Just making creases like with my nails and then just cutting Out. 
So here again, I'm just going to make creases with my nails and cut off the excess with the X-Acto knife. same thing and since this is the back I will cut the back part of this and fold the corner over okay. then for this back I'm just gonna crease all of it make sure you crease it all so that it looks more realistic this is a little too long, so I'm just going to cut. Danny's home and just in time because I'm almost done. Okay, so you just saw me put contact paper on the bar and this is what it turned out like. It looks like real wood. So I hope you enjoyed my video and subscribe below, like the video, and follow me for more DIY.